moonlight was cascading as the fog was rising near the barn. I had to share this shot with you guys. It was cool. Hello world. Hope you're doing well. If not, as always, hope it gets better for you. Real quick summary of the video. I finally got to live out my goldfish dreams. I've been to a few places. I've seen some really cool goldfish and have always wanted them myself. So I finally get to do that. I'm going to put them in with my gold laser quarry. So we're going to move some fish out, which brings me up to an update of the NoTech 55 gallon tank. There's no cords to the tank, no light, no filter, no nothing, just uh, aquarium and nature. So update on that, plus moving some fish into the new barn and more new fish that I'm bringing into the quarantine. Plus there are some wild cows that got into our property and much, much more. So let's just jump into it. All right, now I haven't updated you guys yet on this 55 gallon in Wesley's room. No tech, you can see no light, no filter, no plug-in. It's just an aquarium and mother nature and her light. And that's a north facing window, so it doesn't get any direct light. Let's go ahead and clean up the glass. I did get some algae growth earlier, but it went through its phase and died off. So we just scraped that up. It hasn't had a water change yet. Still not going to water change it, actually. Even though it wouldn't be hard because I could open up that window and siphon it through. Maybe I'll do that someday, but we'll just keep it rocking because it seems pretty clean. Enough rambling. Let's clean up the tank and look at the fish. Because I'm about to move these guys into the barn and move some goldfish in. Which now I'm glad I didn't end up cutting this top for them because I won't need it for the goldfish. I don't think the goldfish would be able to jump. It doesn't look like much over here, but if you zoom in, it's actually still teeming with laser cores. It's amazing what a little maintenance will do for your aquarium. As simple as just cleaning off the glass night and day. Can't wait to do more of this in my fish room, but I want to give you guys a dirty fish room tour before I do. All right, looking a bit better here. Lots of particulates still in the water. I need to clean the back because that'll help give some filter to the light to keep algae from growing. But these fish seem to be stoked about it. And since it's an overcast day, I'm gonna have to get the flashlight. I can't wait to do these on special days because the videos just wanna get done. I got fish coming in and things gotta move. Let's grab a flashlight. It's a fun tank to watch, very active. There we go, carry barbs. These shiners are awesome. I do like the flashlight. But time to move all these fish and get some goldfish in here. Everybody did good. No filter, no tech, no water change. All right, now time to catch all these fish here. Got a big net, little net, and a bucket. And luckily everybody's still hungry. So trying to get these Cory Doris over here to catch should be pretty easy. And these guys, these guys will be real easy, hopefully. Guppy grass is gonna be a pain though. So I'm gonna mash this. I'm just mash this over to the side. Cause these goldfish are about to meal on a lot of this anyway. And then I can get my little net over here, scare them into my big net over here. That's goldfish tree right there. And that's it. Get what I can. Dang, that won't escape. I was trying to get the muck out of the net. Scoop mostly shiners. I'm um, just looking at these tanks thinking about these fish. These little four fish right here. Almost $250 worth of fish. Those Docacia similis. Not just your average fish. These guys are some rare natives. There's a good shot. Alright, those are out in a bucket. I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave my quarry cats in here because they can sift the bottom and sift through stuff that the goldfish can't. So I think that'll help keep it clean. Er clean-ish. But I couldn't help myself. Finally got some goldfish. I've been wanting goldfish for quite some time. They had them in the auction here. There's two, four, five, 
and six and seven so pretty much goldfish of all the color variants or at least the shades going from white to orange and even calico and i wasn't planning on getting two of these but big shout out to bruce he gave me gave me the two that he ended up getting and he realized he didn't have a home for them so now we're gonna have a goldfish tank i've always wanted to do this also swooped up some lime green endlers these guys look fantastic and also some black mollies always wanted these these things are jet black and some nice japanese blue sword and a bucket full of completely amazing rainbow tiger endlers which i created these years ago but ran out of them and big shout out to mandolin fsu for hooking them back up to me as always now it's time to give them their fish baths do not do fish baths if you have chlorinated water one red and white oranda, beautiful fish. All right, first one in. So awesome. These will really brighten up in this no light, no tech tank. Here we got a calico Ryukin and a white oranda. Boy. Here's Wesley saying hi. Boy. Which this white oranda has got some really wicked eyes. Looks like it's got a bit of yellow on the tail and a yellow on the head. It's not fully white. And yeah, the calico one's being a little goofy. We'll see how that turns out. He's got a mouth problem as well, looks like. I don't know what happened to his mouth, but he does have a deformity. We'll try to treat him the best we can. Which... Put it in a natural aquarium and let it heal itself naturally. The bag said two big eye fantails on this. But it looks like only one is a big eye randa. And these two came out of the bag I knew I was coming home with and could not resist and really kind of opened that up for me. But two randas, one fully gold, gold white. Absolutely beautiful. Looks like that one's got a little something on its tail. I don't know what that is. To take a look at it, its head's a bit white too. It might have started getting ammonia burn from being in the bag. It could be a cyst. After inspection, could have been a bite mark on it at some point. It's healing up or scrape it on something. This looks a little bent, no cyst, but just scabbing fish scabbing so cool love them all right they're all in there seem to be happy with each other so is that guy he's still being goofy so we'll see how he does there's wesley bye wesley I'll check up on him here later So time to move the micro pocelli out. Not sure how this happened. We got cows in our yard. So this is crazy. Just woke up. I was just joking with Alex of Secret History living in your aquarium. How it'd be cool if I had some wild cow come in. Sure enough, the next day, these guys ain't wild. They're tagged, but they're in my yard. See me coming up towards them. They're trying to walk back home. And you guys know you ain't supposed to be in here? I don't know whose cows these are. There's a bunch of them. What's up, my guys? I think they're finding their way. So, uh, next day, the goldfish tank. These guys are easier to see in here. See that little calico guy? He's doing better today. I didn't do anything special. I didn't mess with him. I let him just gather himself. Now he's doing fine. Everybody is happy. This guy loves the guppy grass. Yes, he's alive. Wesley loves him. I love him. It looks so cool in this tank. Light's hitting him a little weird, but... We can see these fish a lot better than the other fish. And they seem to get along with the quarry cats pretty well. So gold laser, goldfish tank. So cool. Pretty sure these goldfish were already breeding in the guppy grass too. I'm watching them all chasing females.
All the little clown killies are ready to come out of quarantine and then put them in the pond when they get bigger. Also time to take these Lucipenis Cynodonis out for those black mollies. Always oh, wearing these. Looking pretty good. Get these guys quarantined. I'm loving this bowl. Flying green antlers. Know what time it is? Rock washing time. And sand. This is what I'll be doing for the rest of the day: sifting sand, washing rocks getting her done trying to finish off these 75s for our breeding projects and i figured i'd go ahead and put these clown killies in with these baby gold dust they're big enough they won't get eaten they're about the right size for everybody to grow up here together plus natural green water environment they're gonna grow fast in here gonna put the cats in the same tank too i gotta catch these by hand because well that net's a square hard to do that with a round bucket i love those things there's the mollies. I know my tank's dirty. Got ferts all over it. Look at everybody. I think they're happy to have friends. I don't see it. One clown killie though. They're hiding really good. Anyway. Thanks for watching. If you guys like this content, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. That'd be awesome of you. And if there's something you want to share with our community audience or something about the video, hit it down in the comments for the algorithms. And thank you for joining us. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.